Okay, good morning everyone, it's Jeremy from Rotronic. Just going to do a follow-up video to uh, my last video introducing the Rotronic monitoring system and how to add devices and set up some alarms. So let's log into our account that we set up and we can see here uh, some live data and we can see that the device is, or the device is offline and that's because I have uh, unplugged the Ethernet connection so it's now just a standalone device and obviously has lost connection. Uh, this was about 10.46, about 45 minutes ago. But we can see that over the weekend uh, we had, or oh, this was Friday's monitored data, and we can see the alarms adapting to that uh, out of hours condition of just a five degree limit. We can see a few alarms over the uh, over the cold winter nights or spring nights, and then onto today, uh, logger coming in, heating on, uh, a few spikes up and down. But the device is offline, and what I want to demonstrate is it's really important in monitoring systems that we. Uh, gather data and we, we keep that, that solid link of data all the way through and we don't want to be involving humans effectively in that process. We don't want to be manually downloading data. We don't want to be reviewing uh, downloaded data for any uh, alarms. We want the system to do that for us automatically. So let's have a look at what RMS does. Now really important is that on this device are uh, two AA size batteries. They're lithium batteries. Um, you can purchase them from a lot of suppliers um, and that means that the device is obviously logging independent of that network connectivity. <coughs> Same with all RMS devices. They all have batteries, um, be it wireless or wired and therefore they, they will do everything I'm about to demonstrate. So the device is reconnected, it will uh, connect to the network and start to transmit live data. And what RMS will do is it will see there is a missing, missing data and it will request from the data logger to backfill that data. There we are. Uh, in fact, because it's a LAN device, it's extremely quick. So it's backfilled the data. We can see if we go here, we can see the data has come back and I had this little guy uh, just outside my home office here so it was nice and cold in the outside air um, and it has come back online that's my email if you can hear that coming through saying that the device has uh, the error has ended and we can see here two warnings and one alarm so uh, let's look at the events and look at those warnings and alarms and finished events there. So what I'm looking for here is these retroactive events. So these are events that have happened while the device was offline. So even though the device was not connected to RMS, it was still logging and more importantly we get messages about those alarms without having to manually go and review the data ourselves. So several alarms, several warnings and these can all be selected as I've done with the other ones and I can apply an acknowledgement and I can perhaps do um, testing whatever the acknowledgement might be. Uh, that means the alarms and warnings now are acknowledged and no longer visible up here in the in the summary page. But just to look a little bit deeper in the audit trail we can see exactly what's going on. So um, where are we? About four minutes ago I logged in, I reconnected the device and we've got a readout data message here by the system saying that it's reading out data from between 10.46 to 11.32 and it was successful in reading out between all of that data effectively. If there was any gaps in data, perhaps due to a uh, batteries being removed or some other reason, then the system would create a reminder to say there is a data gap and then you can choose to again acknowledge that if need be. But the main thing is my trace is complete, all my data is there and I've not had to do anything and if I had emails configured uh, I would be getting emails about those alarms uh, as and when they happened and obviously emails about the fact the device was offline if that was configured. That's it for now, we will be doing more videos of course so do, uh, do step back and join us and be sure to subscribe and any comments or questions please let us know. Okay, thank you.